Hey everyone, Chetna here from Me With A Pencil and today I'm going to share how to make a lettering layout. So, let's get started. Step 1. Write down the quote and mark the important words so that you don't miss out any spellings on words in the quote while you sketch. For step 2, make two or more different thumbnails to have a basic idea of layout and then Write down the most important words first and then fit in the other words in it. Make sure to write it in your own handwriting. We are not applying any calligraphy or lettering style over here. After we make multiple thumbnails, I'd like to select one that I like the most and go further with it. And let's create this into a proper guideline and apply the calligraphy or the lettering style that you want. Here, try to remove the negative space and get rid of them in this when you write down the letters. Now here I have a simple idea of how my letters or the artwork will look and I'll try to put it into a bigger version so that I can add more flourishes and I can have a better look on my spacing and consistency in between the letters and the words. Keep working on your design to get a proper layout till you get satisfied with your design and then make the final one. Now my layout is ready and I'd like to put some guidelines around so I can have an idea when I work on my actual paper and how big it will be. So I'll be doing this on an A5 size paper. So according to that, I'll make my guidelines on that paper. So in this, the first process of making a final artwork is that I'm gonna use the guideline again to write down the quote properly into the size that I'm gonna be writing on my final artwork paper. So that is gonna be A5 size sheet, as I said. And I'll write it down properly and with proper evenness in this and then tracing, trace it onto a tracing paper and then the final paper. So I'm ready with the final artwork and I'm, I'm going to put this in, onto the tracing paper so that I can trace this onto the final pa artwork paper where I'm going to be writing this. Or you can also use a carbon copy paper to trace it directly on your final artwork. Though I have not tried it, I prefer using tracing sheet. So again, I have an idea about the spacing. I can see through it. Here I made some changes while I was writing on the tracing paper, uh, made some more space in between the words. So it has an even spacing everywhere after every word in the artwork. So now I'm ready with my final artwork on the tracing sheet and then I transferred from tracing sheet to the final artwork paper and where I'm go going to write with a brush pen. I know it's a long process, but uh, that's how I like to do it. and. Uh, so that we don't make any mistakes in the final artwork. So working with the tracing paper is the best when you're making a layout and the guide sheet. If you'd like to learn uh, basics of calligraphy, because this tutorial is like an advanced tutorial, um, like anybody who knows calligraphy or lettering, uh, you can check out my basic uh, tutorials on brush calligraphy. It's uh, I'll link it to the top right corner and as well as in the description. You can have a look at them as well. So go slow when you're writing or making an artwork during the whole process. I know it's a long process. It takes time sometimes. But be patient, stick to it and don't worry if you don't get it right. You can always redo it.
So the final layout is almost ready and I hope you like this tutorial and it was helpful. Please do let me know in the comments below and also uh, do like, share and subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.